Welcome back to the channel, and I should really clean up my room, but I have a blur effect, so who cares? Today, we'll be continuing our Computing Fundamentals course on Ropper's Academy. So far, we're up to Site Overview. So we have a letter from Dennis, and he's dedicating this training to a few hackers and people who have been throughout the community and those who are on the National Cryptological Memorial. So he's included a few links for us to go over. And I like his sentiment here about the security is the shield of the modern world. So we need more people to uh, get involved. So a little history. This curriculum was for his previous school's computer cyber security team and it's named after Grace Hopper. And something that we might regularly say easier to ask forgiveness than permission came from Grace. And then the second part, Roppers. ROP stands for Return Oriented Programming. So it is a computer security exploit technique that allows an attacker to execute code in the presence of security defenses such as non-executable memory, code signing by chaining together carefully chosen machines, instruction sequences to get control of the stack, blah blah blah. I do know object-oriented programming, which is a different thing, so we don't need to worry about it right now, but the main point here is even though technology like changes, the proper knowledge of the fundamentals is going to carry us through core tenets meaning something to be true a principle or a doctrine so for this academy no initial expectation of knowledge everyone moves at their own pace understanding foundational theory comes before building technical skills developing fundamental technical skills lays the groundwork for success in any topic knowledge must be actionable the measure of a community is how they treat those who are trying to gain entry there is no such thing as being done learning this is like honestly the perfect it's like if you go to a discord server and you've got your rules like this is what everyone should be striving for summed up very elegantly and um perfectly in my opinion i mean they're all great points but just like six for one second when you do go into a community and you've got people who are very talented like treat you in a way that you feel welcomed even if you're asking somewhat mundane questions or maybe silly questions to them yeah there's, there's something there that i think is really powerful it, it's nice it's just really nice to have this uh so we have what is rop um so that was actually in the previous section so uh but the point here is the skills that we're gaining gathering and rearranging information and skills that we've already had to jump to new locations so that's actually a big part of why i like want to go through this again nothing is spoon fed it's a difficult thing to swallow when we start in security and we start learning computing just because we like we like easy as humans but the reality is this stuff is hard to learn so the the more we just get accustomed to that the better we are in the long run and exactly we can just google things like that's the whole point of the internet and a search engine if we're unsure of something rather than asking for help or rather than getting help from someone we can just figure it out ourselves through some article that someone's you know put together or something and uh, just the last point here on content that this course does change which is you know maybe even by the time you're watching this the course has changed a lot and that's a good thing it's a really good thing dennis really critiques his work and he improves on it so definitely sets a bar for curriculum uh next up is the legal section so we have a link to our community guidelines uh which we can go through here purpose open citizenship expected behavior unacceptable behavior weapons weapons are encouraged however if you use a weapon to threaten anyone expect to wake up in a hospital okay uh privacy policy terms of use uh all linked there legal anything in cyber it, these skills and these techniques can be used to do bad things don't do bad things and alongside that only do things to computers or devices that you have authorization to use so if they're you personally own them you can do whatever you want with them as far as like trying to break into your own computer you don't have the right to go and use any device on anybody else's devices so if you're looking to wi-fi hack and you start trying to brute force into your neighbor's like modem router then uh yeah that that's, that's not okay. Uh, next up is submit your group. So Dennis really encourages to do this along with others. And uh, since I'm going along with you, I, I think that's fine. We're in a group together, right? 
This is this is our group. But he does ask if we are working alone to say, I promise I will ask for help when I need it and not when it gets difficult. I promise, Dennis. All right, uh, second last part before we survey, we've got the join us section. So we have a link to the community Slack, which we should definitely go over and join. Got a lot of great people there. To be honest, I don't spend a lot of time there. I definitely should. I'm more of a Discord kind of guy. He does have Twitter and also he has his Hoppers Roppers account. Uh, so if you want to get in contact with Dennis, that way that's uh totally doable uh i will say about twitter that there are a lot of good hackers and cybersecurity people on twitter so it's actually currently like one of the best platforms to be on to stay in touch with what's going on we'll see how uh everything goes with that platform uh there's also facebook and linkedin if you're into those lastly is the chapter survey for number one please make sure you go through this to help dennis uh, improve the course uh, it improves it for yourself and other students myself too so yeah definitely do that all right thanks for uh, checking out this video that does us for site overview next we'll be doing the mindset module or section of our computing fundamentals course thank you very much for uh sticking around and uh, please feel free to leave a like i appreciate you for getting this far in the video if you're currently going through any try hack me rooms uh, i'll link to my playlist for the write-ups where you can go check out a few other rooms to give you some inspiration for any uh, rooms that you might be going through. So thank you so much for checking out this video and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.